<laughs> we continue our Remarkable Women show now. And these women are on fire. This show all morning is about positive women. All month long, we've been honoring Remarkable Women, but we wanted to know how do we grow our Remarkable Women of tomorrow? That's right. Meteorologist Elisa Rafa met with two local programs working to break gender stereotypes. Elisa, what did you find out from them? Women make up nearly half of the workforce, but less than 25% are in STEM-related careers. In fact, in 2017, women only accounted for 29% of physical scientists, 27% of computer scientists, and 16% of engineers. There are also issues in salary. The U.S. women's soccer team won the World Cup in 2019, but pay disparities became a bigger headline than the gold trophy. The women took home a prize of $30 million, while the men's World Cup prize money was $400 million. I met young girls hoping to break these molds. Take a look. It's going to look more like this with a light bulb right here and a light bulb right there. So see if you can make that. What Building circuits and wiring electricity on a Saturday. School on the weekend doesn't typically excite kids, but tucked inside this classroom are leaders of tomorrow. Astronomer. I'm a teacher. I want to be a scientist that looks at NASA. There's different mysteries that is in space, and I want to unlock them. These are Girl Scouts, and they're some of the most ambitious girls you'll ever meet. Daisy Scout Izzy is seven years old, and her role models are Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. You want to go to Mars? Mm -hmm. Is that you want to be the first woman on Mars? Yes. I kind of knew a little fact. After I missed Jill, almost all the ast girl astronauts were actually Girl Scouts. Jill Hodge is their Girl Scout troop leader and has been a STEM educator for over a decade. Yay! Good job. And she's also a champion of all things fun in STEM. She talks about gender stereotypes with her junior scouts. And when you ask them, you know, have you noticed this yet? They'll tell you, oh yeah, you know, boys are the ones that are supposed to be good at sports or we're only supposed to like to do crafts. And working to build confidence and break barriers. They already feel it. The sky's the limit. You know, we want to make sure that whatever our, our girls want to do, we um, enrich that. Nikki Karuki is the director of programs at the Boys and Girls Club. We have baseball, where we have girls participate in that. We have flag football, girls participate in that. Um, we have basketball, co-ed teams for that, too. And then we have volleyball, too. So, yeah, there's opportunities for our girls to play in sports. The club not only gets these ladies to work their muscles, but enrich their minds with coding programs and empowerment summits geared towards girls. Alyssa Schilling is this year's Youth of the Year scholarship recipient and has been awarded $32,000 to take with her to MSU in the fall. You can do a lot with a biology degree, so if towards the end of college I decide maybe I don't want to be a dentist and go into pre-med, I would use that biology degree in like conservation. You can get a teaching certification. You can just do a lot with it. After 10 years of service, she realizes she couldn't have done it without them. I just want to say thank you for being so supportive and just kind of being an inspiration to keep going. And she's become yet another role model for these leaders of the future. The Boys and Girls Club just kind of uh, become like a second home to me. I'm really um, happy that she taught me about, about space and um, science and robots. Thank you. Thank you. They're doing a good job. They need to have that, that kind of courage and, and confidence to be like, heck yeah, I, I belong here. You know, I can do this. I loved getting to meet those inspiring young ladies. On Pi Day next week, female scientists of all disciplines will, will, will wear purple to be visible together and visible to inspire young girls like Izzy. All right.